Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be looking at one of the featured worlds in Minecraft Education, which is Sustainability City. So we're going to hit play. We're going to view library. We're going to go to biomes and worlds, featured worlds, and we're going to here look for Sustainability City. We'll click that and create the world. Now, the lesson plan is online or a lesson plan is online and we'll have a chat through that as we go uh, but you can click this link if you want to go to that I've also put uh, the link to the to the lesson plan uh, in the description for this video as well now this world contains six separate lessons uh, but they're not so much about ICT or computing they are more humanities okay so we've looked at where it can be uh, accessed but we're going to be looking at part one of those so when we load in this classroom here we're going to move forward and uh, we're going to be looking at part one today, which is food production. So we click, go ahead and click on part one. And uh, before we get started, it's important to note that we're going to get guided around the levels by these particles here. We also have this um, book here that if we right click, uh, it gives us some tips about following the sparkles. Uh, the teacher can send you on your lessons, interact with people to talk to them got a blackboard in the hot bar that will return us to the classroom at the end of uh, the lessons okay and there's an electric bus in each area that will guide us um, back to uh, the start if we get lost okay uh, so the whole point of this first lesson is about uh, food production and sustainability in food production uh, so in the online lesson plan it advises that we are going to try and get uh, some locally produced food and we're going to discuss with your students uh, how that food is produced, how it gets from the field to your table, and name as many of the different processes as we can in between. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, what is a producer, what is a consumer, what does sustainability mean, why is it important, how does food get from the farm to your local store, how can we promote a live and sustainable lifestyle in regard to food production and consumption. Uh, so, uh, with those things in mind, our students are going to make their way through this world. Do you know where your food comes from? I think it comes from a farm. I wonder if there is a farm nearby. Um, so we'd be discussing these things with our students beforehand, obviously. We could get them to watch a video on sustainability uh, before they make their way through this level. We could also get them to produce um, a flow diagram um, discussing the different chains uh, once they've been through this level. Um, so first of all, you can see here we've gone to the grocery store and um, we've gone through the grocery store now and we're going to the farm. And we're just following these particles, okay? It's very important that you remind your students that if at any point they're a little bit lost, have a look for the particles and the NPCs with the arrows above their head and they should should be able to get around okay. So we're learning about irrigation, pesticides and fertilizers. And as I said before, this is not necessarily a computing or ICT lesson. It's certainly uh, focusing on the humanities, a lot of cross-curricular stuff there. And the students explore through this world. There's no coding activities for them to complete, uh, but you need to um, prompt your students on, on what you need them to look at. Okay, so at the end, uh, you are going to be asking them questions. You, like I said, you may want them to fill in a flow diagram uh, outlining the different processes. Um, if you don't make that clear to them, of course, they will just fly through this level. Crop rotation is about keeping your soil in good condition by planting different crops in each field, each season. Um, oh, and sometimes we've got these little buttons at the bottom here. And uh, as you can see, there's a really cool like in-world animation of crop rotation. So the day to night cycles flashing through really quickly and the crops are all changing, which is pretty cool. Follow the sparkles as they're called. Let me go and chat to this chap over here. Compost spreading. Um, you may also want to uh, make a uh, go through this yourself as a teacher or watch this video of course and uh, make a list of keywords and vocabulary that you want your students to 
maybe try and define, give a little overview of compost is a great way to fertilize the soil. And there are many different stages, of course, to getting the food uh, onto your table from field to table. And we are going into detail on compost here at first. Um, but this whole um, sustainability city level is really cool. Um, it's You can get like a term's worth of work out of this um, in terms of humanities and cross-curricular stuff with ICT as well. Uh, you can shape it to how you want. Uh, obviously the links and stuff are in the description to get to this world, but it should be, if your students are on the latest edition of Minecraft Education, it should be on there. Uh, but it's all part of um, a drive by Microsoft um, to become a carbon neutral com uh, company, sustainable, and raise awareness for that in students, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, at school, in schools, we teach a lot about sustainability. Uh, but talking exactly about what that means. Uh, it can be difficult to get them on board, so certainly using Minecraft is a really cool way to do that. So now each time we talk to click by solids here, a different character here, they're going to tell us about something, this will teleport us back to where we were. And really, the key with this one is uh, we do want to make sure that the students are reading all of these. OK, so obviously I'm flipping through them quite quickly. Uh, but you need to explain to your students that they are going to be um, trying to understand some of these things that are being said by the NPCs here. They're going to be doing some work at the end of the topic about the different stages. And obviously, depending on, depending on the age range that you teach, you'll make that more detailed uh, as their teacher. So now we're at the recycling plant. Whiz through a little bit quicker. There we are. Now we're talking about the way that items are separated. It really shows us what a recycling factory might be a little bit like. And again, there's more, there are m lots more keywords, vocabulary to learn. Talking about glass, Pyrex cannot be mixed with regular glass. And it's certainly getting the students to think more uh, about how big this process is this recycling process, uh, which of course is part of food production. We should be recycling more glass, absolutely. Back through here. And then we're gonna move on to another part of the uh, process. So we've got a delivery guy uh, who moves the glass here. And I think actually it's um, one of the things to uh, discuss with this, oh look, we've got the guy Honey guy, covered in honey, to the grocery store. Cool. So one of the things that's definitely worth discussing, got the bees around, is um, the team behind making these worlds. I mean, this sustainability city world here um, must have just taken so long to make. I know a lot of the um, different parts of it will have been made in Java and moved across, and there's a, a resource pack that you need. Have you completed your lesson? I can take you back to town. Yes, please. Let's go back to town. So there we are, completed the lesson. If I select the chalkboard in my hotbar there and uh, right click that, it takes me back to the classroom and I can move on there to lesson number two. Um, so we've got um, outcomes for these lessons. We, uh, the key things that we want the students to uh, understand are what is a pr producer, what is a consumer, and what does sustainable mean? Um, so we've got a few ideas here on the website, which says the teacher will introduce or review the terms producer and consumer with students. Um, they're going to bring in some honey into the classroom. And uh, there's a full lesson plan there with all the different expectations for the students. And obviously you'll need to tweak that a bit depending on the age range of your students. Uh, I think this one's recommended from 
um, 11 years old and up. Uh, but certainly with these lessons, do have a, do, even if you have watched this video, probably have a little playthrough first yourself and uh, decide which bits you're going to focus on, okay? Now, um, I'll be doing parts two, three, four, five, and six over the coming weeks. Uh, because Sustainability City is pretty big. So um, I'll be trying to squeeze those in amongst the other uploads as well. Um, so do make sure you like and subscribe to today's video and uh, I'll see you all next time.